All right, good afternoon from Royal Beach. It's Thursday afternoon. Uh, I was gonna gonna go this morning, but uh, I thought I thought I'd better wait out the storms. And I'm glad I did because the road is really really bad coming down here. So be aware of that. Think about that just before you you know try to come down here in your Baja Prius. It's bad. So, anyways, uh, they, like I said, they dumped trout this morning. I passed my buddy uh, Shane. I was coming down and he was leaving. So hopefully, hopefully I'll find some. And I know where the trout usually go and the striper follow. So I got this today. This is the first time this is going in the water. Three five pound thrust in Dakota Traxxas. When I have the motor down, I'm going to run the rudder up. It's 156 amp hour Omu lithium. I got these because uh, I don't like the other pedals. The pedals that it comes with. But anyways, Blue Sky 360 Angler. Little Beach, lots of trout. Hopefully, some striper. Stick around, could be good. I forgot to say it in the first clip, but I am permitted to film in the Lake Mead National Rec area. Uh, the only people that really need the ridiculously expensive permit are multi-million dollar filming companies, and I'm not there. So, let's just forget about that and let's go fishing. Alright, here we go. Alright, I just got this thing in the water. Ran into my buddy Herman right there. And look at this, this is insane. I gotta reel this thing in a little bit here. But I got her pointed up upstream right now, right? Okay, watch the speeder meter right here. I just had it going four miles an hour up river. That's 3.1 and it's about half throttle. It's kind of doing exactly what I, I mean, that's almost four right there and I've still got a lot of throttle left. Up river. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, doing exactly what I wanted it to do. That's pretty shocking. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go catch some fish now. All right, there's fish down there. I don't know what they are, but they're down there. I might just pull this motor up and just uh, use the pedals. That's probably what I'm gonna do. All right, so operation motor on the back, a huge success. I was, uh, I just, to get, I just came from uh, the other side of the marina, all the way up to, um, right up the hatchery right now. Hatchery's right here. Anyways, um, had the motor down, kicked up to about 80%, and I was pedaling, and I was going 5.2 miles an hour. I was pretty shocked. Upstream, against the wind. 5.2 miles an hour. Pretty happy with that. Pretty much exactly what I wanted it to do. Which is kind of shocking because my harebrained plans rarely work out. But this one did. So, yeah. Uh, it's going to be just kind of, you know, like when I'm planning on going, if I, if I go to Echo and I think, well, you know, this is the day that I'm going to head for Stewart's, I'll take it. If I go to Mojave, I'll take it. I'll always take it if I go to Mojave. Because it's very easy to very easy to fold up. You know, you just push that little button right there. And it folds right up. You know, or I can get back there. I did it. I stood like right here. And you loosen that collar right there. And you can pull it right straight up. So it's, you know, sticking straight up out of the water. Either or, I can do them both. And this was a, that's why I wanted to come here and test it today. See if my, you know, I knew it was gonna run. I knew it was gonna pull the boat, but um, I just, there's more to it than that. You gotta be able to stow it. You gotta be able to deploy it, you know. More to it than just, is it gonna run? I'm going almost three miles an hour trolling. That's not gonna work. Um, so yeah, uh, huge success, I think. Uh, it is a uh, Traxxas 45, Minn Kota, if you're interested. It is on, uh, there's an affiliate link for it, 
There's an affiliate link for all kinds of stuff down there in the comments section. All those kayaks, I've, I've fished out of them for a minimum of six months, a couple of them a year. And there's a, most of the stuff I use is on that uh, list of links. So if you're interested, just click on them. Helps me out a little bit, helps the channel out. Uh, everybody wins. Doesn't cost you, you know, it's not going to cost you any more to support the channel. But, uh, you know, helps me out a little bit. I appreciate it. So we're still going. I'm going to go up here, run through my zones, uh, check a couple places for some trout, go back to the dock, and go home. But, uh, you know, it would not shock me if I got stung today. Because, you know, it is willow. But we're still going. All right, so I got the motor down. I'm pedaling. Motors are about 8%. That's five miles an hour. That's pretty cool. I got the rudder down. Uh, I don't know if you can see the rudder, but when you're going this fast, you only get a little bit of throw on the rudder because it's a great big rudder. I mean, that's a lot of force. But if you just put steady, you know, you can see if you just put steady force on the killer, you can see your chain, of course. You just you don't want to mash it really hard because you're gonna break crap. That's the last thing you want to do. But with the rudder down, you can you can still steer it. The so I've I've checked all the boxes of crap that I wanted to. Uh, figure out today. It's a pretty good success I feel. So I got my pedals, I got my motor, I can still steer it. Or I can steer it from here with the ridiculously long tiller, which you know now that I realize I can steer it, I might not even need this. Because I'll if I'm trolling on the river. I'll be sitting sideways in the seat like this anyways, and I'll, I'll have the pillar right here. So I don't know, I might use it, I might not. I'll keep it in this, you know. That's why I have two boxes. I have one for technical, and I'll have one for random stuff, you know. Dry bag, sweatshirt, you know. It's that, it's that time of year when you, uh, you can launch and it'll be like 80 degrees and an hour later it'll be 50 degrees so you know it's what time of year it is so, and we're heading for the dock uh, i don't even have a line up i'm just dorking around testing my testing my new motor uh, works pretty good i think so yeah we'll uh, we'll give a we'll give an outro up here in a while uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I've talked myself into doing one more, one more lap through here, because there's fish around. Uh, I got the, I got some pretty good baits here that they like. So I'm gonna. It would be just senseless. It's just one o'clock. So I'm gonna do one more loop, and then we'll get out of the water. Who knows? We might catch a fish. Weirder things have happened. Not recently, but they have. All right, we're pulling in. I'm gonna call this a, a huge success. Uh, like I, when I had the first motor that didn't really work right, um, so I sent it back. I had it figured out that I could have all the throw I would need with the motor down. And then I thought more about it, and I thought, well, I'm just going to run with the rudder up when I have the motor down. And then I was out here dorking around with it just, you know, today. And I thought, well, let's try and put the rudder down. And it works just like I thought it would to begin with. You just gotta, like I said, you just gotta, you can't horse on it because you can break something. That's you know, aluminum. Unless you want to be spending money on stuff that broke because of your fault. Don't be, uh, you know, don't just try and break stuff. They're not gonna warranty it if you, you know. They can, they're not gonna warranty it if you broke it your negligence but uh you know just use common sense which i realize that's not a tool in everybody's toolbox but don't over force it and it'll steer just fine i'm turning right now you know and, i mean you can see the rudder I 
I said, it works just fine. So, yeah, there's a, I'm sitting sideways in the seat at four miles an hour at 80% on the motor. And if I was to start pedaling, I could be doing five. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is, this is the way to go. This will be my, uh, like I said, my, my long run uh, or nighttime here or Mojave motor or if I want to go to Stewart's or if I just feel like being a passenger it's been known to happen but anyways I'm getting ready to pull in I'm going to pull my motor up and uh get ready to get out of the water so if you like what you saw match that little dude right over there in the kayak peruse some of them little uh links down there helps me out helps the channel out I'll see you on the water Echo Bay tomorrow morning all right, we're out of the water. Big skunk. Hard to imagine. A little beach. Wasn't really about that today, though. It's more about this thing right here. So, and now I figured out that I can actually works better to run with the rudder down and the motor down because you're really not. I mean, you can get about that much to throw. You get more than that actually right there but you can get just about all the throw you what well, you can get all the throw you need uh, with the rudder down you just you know don't be you know, don't put a lot of force on it because you know, what are you catching on that thing look at this lower what are you catching Strike. Nothing today. Everything. So anyways um yeah we're gonna be at Echo tomorrow I got the, I won't be taking the motor typically unless I'm going, you know, like Mojave or here at night. But um, with the motor down and the and the drive down, 5.5 miles an hour. Uh, that was pretty cool. And that was not even pushing hard. I think I've got it on film or on the camera where it was like 5.1 or 5.2, but I actually hit 5.5 at one point going up river so yeah anyways uh like i said echo tomorrow so that's that little dude over there in the kayak if you like what you saw and uh stick around follow along for little tips and tricks you never know what you're gonna learn you never know what you're gonna see all right thanks for watching see you on the water